Oh, good morning, guys. How are you? We're good. great. How are you? Um, fantastic. Thank you for doing um, my love story interview. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So, uh, first of all, tell us who you are. Well, I'm Ed. I'm Tony. We live in Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore. Oh. I know a very cute boy from Baltimore. <laughs> uh -huh. So tell me, um, how long have you guys been together? Well, we've been together just over 14, 14 years. 14 years. Wow. Yeah, and uh, thankfully to the people of Maryland, we just got married two weeks ago. Congratulations. How did you guys meet? Tell me your love story. Um, well, I'll tell you my half of it. Um, <laughs> Neither ha neither one of us were going where we were going that night, and we ended up meeting each other. Um, a friend of mine and I decided to go out to a couple of bars and just have a good time. And uh, we were driving past the Hippo in Baltimore. Most people know about the Hippo. Um, and all of our a bunch of our friends were outside, so they uh, they waved us down and stopped us and uh, convinced us to not go wherever, wherever we were going and to go to the Hippo instead. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to be uh, out of town with uh, some other friends of mine, but. Uh, that fell through, and so uh, one of my coworkers said, "Hey, I'm going to the Hippo. You want to meet me there?" So, long story short, I was sitting across the bar. I saw this really cute guy, and I was like, "There's no way he'd want to talk to me." And we kind of played tag around the bar and around the the club all evening. And you know, I'd look at him, and then he'd catch me, and I'd be like, "Oh!" And finally, my friends literally pushed me into him, and I fell into him. <laughs> and and uh, we still know exactly where we were standing every time we go in the hippo. We're like, <laughs> this is where it happened. <laughs> One little kiss, and it was over. <laughs> <laughs> One little kiss, and that, that just sealed the deal. That was yeah, it. pretty much. So um, that's, you know what, it's, it's interesting how sometimes the universe throws everything out of whack. We think it's yes. out of whack, but really it's lining everything up. It's like what people always say when you're not looking, the strangest things will happen if you're not expecting it. And that's exactly what it was. There's a, a spiritual guru I listen to, and her name is Ayanla Van Zant. I'm obsessed. But one thing that she says is, if you're leaving the house looking for love, stay home. You know, you don't find love, love finds you. Uh, definitely. Uh, at the Hippo, apparently, in Baltimore. Hippo yes, at the Hippo in Baltimore. <laughs> Were you both out to your families? No, actually, I, I wasn't. I... Met him, and after I kind of knew that I was falling in love with him, I wanted to tell, you know, my family. I wanted them to be able to share, you know, with me, and I was so excited about it. I, you know, had this bottled up, and I, you know, every time I talked to them, I wanted to tell them. So they came down. They live up in Pennsylvania, so they had come down. Um, so I finally told them. I said, you know, I have something to tell you. I said, I found someone, and I'm in love, and his name is Ed. <laughs> and, and my parents are great. I mean, at first, um, it's funny because my mother had a harder time with it. She was a little upset. My dad, the first words he said to me after I told him, he said, you know, you're still my son, and as long as you're happy, I'm happy, which was awesome. And, you know... Several months later, after my mom kind of had time to think it over and everything, you know, she realized that that was the same way. As long as I was happy, she was happy. Do you feel like the power of love? To, is that a Celine Dion song? <laughs> but, 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 but being so full of love is what gave you the strength to come out. And that love is probably what um, is what your, your your parents saw. They didn't, you know, it wasn't just, hi, I'm gay. It's, hi, I'm in mad, in madly in love and I'm glowing. And yeah, definitely. I definitely, mean, right? Yeah, that's the that's definitely the way I felt. It's interesting. I had the same exact coming out experience with my paternal side of my family before I married my ex-husband Dell. I was so in love, and I would call home and have all these conversations with my grandmother and my grandfather, and there was this massive thing that was just like yeah. I had to talk about, but I couldn't, you know. And so it's what it's what led to me coming out to most of my family. So I can completely yeah. relate to love giving you the strength to say, I have to do this, and yeah. I feel safe because I'm so in love that it's going to be okay. Yeah. Um, I think that love is, love is our greatest tool in combating everything we're going through, and I like to see how love motivates people to come out and how love inspires people to um, be open and accepting. Like I said, that was 
the inkling to, to come out to them was because I was so happy with him that I wanted to share it with him. Um, my mother, I definitely have seen like over the years, just a shift in the way that, you know, she sees gay relationships because she's, it's not really her cup of tea, shall we say. Yeah. Um, but she came to our wedding and she seemed perfectly happy and she's always saying, you know, how happy she is with us together. And of course, she has a granddaughter, so that really helps. <laughs> yes, that was you, that was my next question. I, I noticed when your phone rang, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm fighting a cold. I noticed when your phone rang, you said that was daycare or something. Yeah. So yeah. is there... Is there an expansion that's happened to this family? Oh, yeah. We have a three and a half. Here, he's getting a picture. <laughs> we have a three and a half year old. I don't know if you can see. Oh, my God. She's gorgeous. What's her name? Her name is Hayden. Uh, You're reflecting in it. I'm, I'm moving. <laughs> now I can see. So her name is Hayden. Hayden, yeah. And how old is Hayden? Uh, three and a half. She's taking a nap right now. Oh, well, we'll As keep it. All good toddlers should. <laughs> um, but, I mean, that's really. Even just in our neighborhood and amongst other people, people see us even more like, I don't know, I hate to use the word normal, but Couple. to them, to other people, we're not so strange anymore. It, it shows the rest of the world that really there's, there's no danger here. Right, exactly. To Hayden, this is so normal mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. she couldn't understand anybody thinking it wasn't normal. To her, this is not different, you know, and I hope it never changes, and I hope the world is a different place for her than it was for for all of us, you know, it will yeah. be. We're yeah. we're all, all, all like the three of us right now, and everybody else. We're making that. We're making that happen. I mean, yes, the definitely. difference you made in your neighborhood already. You know, it's it's little pockets of change along the way that builds into a massive, massive revolution. Why do you think it's important that we show the world more couples like yourself? Why it's important that people who don't live in your neighborhood or who don't have a gay son or gay brother are able to see the picture that's being shown here and that's kind of part of the Love Story Project. Put a face faces on. on it that are like living the life and, and know what it's all about. I think that people in this world have so many people telling them that they're wrong and they need to not hear that they're wrong. I think the more voices that, we, that tell you you're right and you're okay are the voices you need to listen to. Um, to tell folks that maybe don't know, maybe people that are stuck in one of those states where their their representatives are are against us, you know, against this, against this beautiful, loving family. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and I'm this. scared to death. I'm scared to death on this side of the Skype of the two of you. Right. <laughs> yeah, I thank you for being a part of the love. Next story time we'll have you. Hayden with us. Yay! Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. I would love to talk to Hayden. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, so love story number two, it's a wrap. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.